You can find the full video on my uh, YouTube channel. I'll be uploading it there very shortly. Link in the description. Anyways, Ontario man takes car to Nissan dealership for a repair. App shows it was then taken for a 90 kilometer trip. Hey auto dealer, where's my car? Frank Staddy said he was left uh, asking that question in March after taking his 2017 Nissan Altima to dealership for repair. He told Global News his backup camera was failing intermittently and he needed to book the appointment. But when he checked the insurance company's uh, monitoring app on his mobile phone and saw his vehicle far from home late at night, Staddy said he got concerned. My initial thought was maybe someone stole the thing, he said. The Milton resident uh, switched insurance providers and agreed to install a vehicle transponder that would monitor his driving habits. Staddy said he mentioned the device to the service advisor when he dropped off the car at Milton, Ontario, Nissan, the dealership where he purchased the car. Milton, by the way, is a suburb of Toronto. Staddy said he wondered why his car was 90 kilometers from the dealership that evening. He said the tracking data supplied through the app showed his car had been driven above the speed limit for most of the trip to Woodstock near Highway 401. It was driving at crazy speeds, up to 148 kilometers per hour, Staddy said, noting there were frequent periods of hard braking. Global News re reviewed the tracking, the tracking data provided by Staddy's app. It showed that the vehicle reached up to 148 kilometers an hour and was above the 100 kilometer an hour speed limit for most of the trip on the highway. Staddy said he believed the vehicle was stolen and called Halton Regional Police. An officer from another police department showed up at the Woodstock location provided by the app in the early morning hours. It turned out the vehicle was being driven by one of Milton Nissan's service technicians. <coughs> we had permission to take the vehicle home. We informed it was out of town and there are three witnesses to that, said Tim, Tim Hugars, the dealership's uh, operating partner. He said it's common for technicians to take customers' vehicles home to assess problems. Sometimes if we can't diagnose a vehicle, we will, we will ask a consumer, may we drive the vehicle home to see if we can diagnose it overnight. That is not uncommon in the automotive industry. If you're struggling to try to diagnose it, Hugar said. <clears throat> should we have gotten should we have got gotten gotten it in writing? Clearly yes. We've never had an incident before where it's been an issue. Staddy said he allowed the vehicle to be kept overnight but never consented for the vehicle to be driven out of Melton or a nearly 200 kilometer round trip to assess the rear camera. He said he's also unhappy the vehicle was driven at high speed, data that will be seen by his new auto insurance provider and can be used by the insurer to calculate the insurance premium he should pay in the future. Staddy said he didn't even receive an apology from the dealership, adding the service manager even asked him to leave when he came in to discuss the issue. He kicked me out of the office. He said he was going to call the police. He said I was tracking this, his employee illegally, he said. Staddy said the dealership also didn't replace the fuel consumed during the long drive by its employee. When Global News contacted Nissan Canada about the incident, the manufacturer said Staddy's uh, car was not used for personal travel by the dealership's employee. Customer service is an absolute priority for all of us. Didier uh, Marsad, Nissan's director of corporate uh, communications, said, Yeah, that's the bullshit line they always use. 
Two months after the driving incident, Stati's backup camera is still not working properly. Nissan Canada told Global News that it is arranging to have the camera inspected at another dealership. I'm sure that when this guy, when this customer gave his permission for the vehicle to be taken home overnight, I'm sure he probably didn't know that home for this particular technician was almost 100 kilometers away from the shop. And not to mention that this car is being driven at almost 50 kilometers above the speed limit. If he was going two kilometers an hour or higher under Ontario's stunt driving laws, that customer's vehicle would have been impounded for a week. And that customer would have been stuck without his, without his vehicle for a week. So I guess the moral of the story is do not take your car to Milton Nissan. Obviously, I don't know, seems that the majority of people, maybe not all of them, but it seems like the majority of people that work in the automotive industry are just a bunch of li- uh, crooks and liars. And then to have the nerve to call the police on him, saying that he's, it's illegal for him to track his employee. No, if you're driving somebody else's vehicle, they have every right to track what you're doing. That's like a burglar breaking into a home or business where, where there's surveillance cameras and then they turn around and want to sue um, the home or business owner for uh, illegally spying on, on him while he's burglarizing their place. Give me a fucking break. Fuck you, Milton Nissan. Bunch of fucking pricks.